All right, so let's say uh, you have a truck and it needs to follow a certain path, right? So how you can show it in, in Synchro? First, you need to right click on the 3D model window and select create 3D path. Uh, once you say, uh, once you say uh, create 3D path, then you should uh, double click on the model several times to create your path from, you know, like here, 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 there. You need to choose that path. And once you're happy with the path, then you just need to right click and name your path and just save it. So once you save it, uh, Synchro needs to know, you know, which equipment will follow that path, right? And that equipment also needs to be assigned to a certain task. So what you will do after you save your path, first you should assign your equipment to a task, you know, because Synchro needs to know when that truck will move, right? So you need to assign it to a task first. And once you assign it to a task, then in the resource under task properties here, task properties and resource part, um, you should choose the resource you'd like to assign to your path uh, under tier the path option here. Uh, you need to say, okay, so that activity has track on it and that track needs to follow that path. So this is how you can uh, tell Synchro that, you know, that track needs to be go, needs to go from here to here during this activity. Another important note is uh, if your path uh, follow different directions, let's say you, you go from here to here and then here to there. So you may notice that your equipment will not change its direction. So let's say track will go like this and then go like this, but actually it should go like this and then turn and go like this, right? So how you can change this? Um, you should go to 3D path properties. And so this is the key frame list. So here, if you right click and choose this share directions from the selected row to allow keyframes by tangent. So if you choose that and uh, you will see, you know, um, your equipment will follow the path direction. So the equipment will rotate as well. In the next chapter, we will talk about cutting planes.